And at this afternoon's draw for next week's Australian Open, Queenslander Josh Eagle, a wildcard entry, drew Sampras in the first round. Australia's top-ranked player Wally Masur has a tough opener against 12th seed Alexander Volkov, while women's favourite Steffi Graf is up against American Kimberly Poe. In the absence of Monica Sellis, Graf has the chance to achieve a non-calendar year Grand Slam, the four majors in a row. It's always very important to start off the, the year well, and I, it's always something that I'm trying to look forward to. And it's very difficult if the first tournament is a Grand Slam. I mean, you really want to show off the best that you can. And Steffi Graf has won three Grand Slams in a row. She won all the major titles in 1988 when she won the Golden Grand Slam. And she has won the Australian Open three times in 88, 89 and 1990. Steffi Graf is first up on centre court. She's got a tremendous record in Grand Slam events. Since 1985, she has won 14 Grand Slam titles in 29 attempts. And she's been in the quarterfinals or better in each of those 29 Grand Slams. Last year, she won 92% of the 82 matches she played. A great player. Seven consecutive titles last year, 10 in total. 14 Grand Slams to her credit. And three Australian Opens, five at Wimbledon three at the French and the US. And a warm favourite here, her opponent in the opening round match, Kimberly Poe of the United States, lives in Rolling Hills in California, is 22 years of age, and boasts a record of making the third round of three Grand Slam events last year. Before the rankings came out today, and we haven't got the latest ones, I'll be uh, due in about an hour's time, Poe was ranked 41 in the world, which is her highest ranking ever, and Graf took the number one off Monica Sellis last year. So that's our uh, opening round. It's uh, Graf, who's one of uh, the great favourites here and the overwhelming favourite to uh, win the title up against Kimberly Poe in the opening round match. As I said, Poe from California lives in Rolling Hills, a 22-year-old who did very well last year by uh, making it through to the third round of the Australian Open, the third round of the French and also the US Open. That semi-final in Philadelphia, she beat Sokova and Garrison on the way through and played Graf in that semi-final. It's the only time they've clashed and she was beaten 6-3, 6-1. Certainly no walkover, but Graf is a very hot favourite here and why not? Because she does boast one of the most impressive records in the history of the game. The 24-year-old who lives in Germany and in New York is ranked one, is seeded one. As I said last year, she won 10 titles in 15 events. Seven of them were in a row. She made the final here last year and then went on to win the French, Wimbledon and the US. And she's been the champion of Flinders Park in 1988, 1989 and 1990. And as I said earlier, in her last 29 Grand Slam events, she's made the quarterfinals or better in every one of those since 1985. So Graf the favourite in the first of the matches. We'll be back with the opening point after this break. What I'm gonna do, but there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Steffi Graf won the toss, elected to serve Gary Wilkinson, working with Wendy Turnbull on the first match. And Wilco, we've had some bizarre weather in Australia this summer. The good news from Melbourne, it's perfect for tennis. Well, let's hope that it remains perfect, not just for today, Bruce, but for an entire fortnight. Now, I know that's asking a lot of Melbourne, but I'm sure that uh, it's possible. Because the fans are flocking in, and uh, they're going to see uh, a great player. Donna Ring is the umpire in the stand in charge of this first match, the first centre court match for the 1994 Australian Open Championship. And Wendy Turnbull, a daunting task for uh, Kimberly Poe, I'd suggest. Yes, they have only played once before, and uh, with Graf winning 6-3, 6-1. That was just in November of last year, and it is going to be a tough match for Kimberly Poe because she doesn't have any real weapons to hurt Steffi. She plays mostly from the baseline, and it'll be interesting to see um, just how Steffi is playing. She had a great year in 1993, and I watched her win the Virginia Slims Championships at Madison Square Garden in New York, and uh, she was bothered by a bad back at that tournament, but she still managed to win it. And she actually uh, was coming over her backhand a lot more there. So Steffi Graf to serve first match of the 94 Australian Open.
39. Playing very sharp and looking very sharp in this uh, new line of uh, Adidas gear that uh, Steffi had a hand in designing. And she just unveiled it uh, at the end of last week. And it's her eighth line of Adidas clothing. And certainly off to a great start here with uh, her serve, certainly putting Kimberly Poe on the defensive. Graf looking good in more ways than one. One life. Conditions at the National Tennis Centre in Melbourne. Well, the outlook is for mild conditions, partly cloudy overhead, chance of showers, but who cares? We've got a roof. Maximum temperature Kimberly expected 22. It's 18 at the present time. A little bit warmer down there on the court surface. Kimberly Post serving for the first time in the match. 15 mm -hmm. love. Kimberly Poe was coached by Robert Lansdorp, who, of course, we know coached Tracy Austin and also helped Lindsay Davenport when she was younger. Ah. Well, that was an excellent backhand. Good angle from Kimberly Poe pulling her opponent off the court. Game time. One game. Steffi Graf playing Kimberly Poe at the moment to be followed by Goran Ivanisevic against Alex O'Brien of the United States and then defending champ Jim Courier against fellow American Brian Shelton. 15 love. The first of nine sessions of night play will be held here at Flinders Park tonight and uh, you'll see it on seven. Pete Sampras against Australia's Josh Eagle and Jenny Byrne of Australia against Helena Sokova. And Steffi Graf serves about 100 miles an hour or 160 kilometres per hour. So they're pretty big serves. And she leads two games to one, first set. Games on service early in this uh, first match. Steffi Graf and Kimberly Poe. Kimberly to serve comes from Los Angeles. Favorite pastime outside of tennis. She likes to sleep a lot. Love 15. Maybe that says something for the air quality in Los Angeles. 
Well, I think when you uh, practice a lot, play a lot of tennis, train, you need a lot of sleep. Fifteen all. scrambling by Kimberly Poe. 1530. Well, that was a terrific overhead from Steffi to finish off the point, letting the high defensive lob bounce. Oh. 15-40. And the last thing Kimberly Poe wants to do is lose serve here to go behind a service break to Steffi Graf because once Steffi gets ahead, there's really no stopping her. Love. Steffi Graf set a single season prize money record in 1993. She earned $2,821,337. And that didn't include the inducement to switch from Dunlop to Wilson Rackets, Wendy. Yes, we notice that uh, Steffi is playing with the Wilson Racket. She used to play with the Dunlop Racket. And Steffi, a very marketable person. Forty-three. <laughs> this is a bit of a mix-up, isn't it? An ace, a double fault, an ace. Four games to one, Steffi Graf over Kimberly Poe. Graf leads four games. Back at the National Tennis Centre, let's check the situation on court 10 with the young Australian Brent Larkham. Here's John Barrett. Well, Gary, the good news for Australia is that Brent Larkham, who, remember, is a wild card into the draw here because of his excellent performances in Challenger and Satellite tournaments, is leading by two cents to love against the 25-year-old from Tokyo, a qualifier, Ryuso Toshino. Six love, seven five, the first two sets. He's leading, uh, he was leading one love in this 
Third said he held his serve to love, but Toshino has just held his serve, so it's one game all. But he's playing jolly well. And uh, if he keeps this up, he will earn a meeting with either Mansdorf or Penforce in the second round. 15 love. And back on centre court, Kimberly Poe serving. Love 30. Love 40. Steffi Graf, 5-1, first set. Graf leads five games, 2-1. Well, Steffi Graf hasn't lost a first-round match since uh, 1992, the Virginia Slims Championships. That's in official tournaments. But she did have one notable first-round loss in 1993. when. Yes, when Australia played Germany in Federation Cup, it was a first-round match, and Nicole Provis beat Steffi Graf in that match. Oh. And, of course, the Australian Women's Federation Cup team went on to the final, where they lost to Spain. So it was a great effort by our Federation Cup players and a good effort by Nicole Provis. Who oh. may be... Steffi Graf's opponent, presuming Steffi goes through this match, may be her opponent in the second round because uh, Nicole plays Claire Wood of Britain in her first round match. So the outcome of that, the aces just keep flowing from the racket of Steffi Graf and she has three set points. Our oh, Davis Cup players get so much recognition because they got to the final of Davis Cup, but um, I don't think our Fed Cup players got enough recognition for their great performance last year. Came in first set, Graf, six games, two, one. In just 16 minutes. Stiffy Graf in double quick time. The first set, 6-1 against Kimberly. And Kimberly Poe serving first in the second set. With an awesome task facing her. And in a match like this, it's good for Steffi to work on her net game, be aggressive, and the more she's at the net, the more comfortable she'll become with better anticipation. Fifteen all. Kimberly Poe got to the third round of the Australian Open last year, so she's defending a lot of computer ranking points. This is a tough first round for her. Well, Steffi's concentrating more on Kimberly's backhand, and uh, Kimberly's forehand is very dangerous. Oh! The deal.
30-40. Game run. First game, second set. It's all Steffi Graf in this opening match. 6-1, one, one love with a break. 15 love. And curiously on that uh, change of ends, I noticed that Kimberly Poe sat with a bag of ice on her stomach. 30 love. Which uh, I don't know, maybe indicates she's got some abdominal strain, which also uh, bears out something you said, Wendy, that she's not served anywhere near as well as she can so far in this match. Well, that's all Kimberly can do is sort of smile because Steffi is serving really well, over 164 kilometres per hour. Oh! And certainly starting off this uh, Ford Australian Open in confident fashion. Your forehand from Graf for another game and a two lovely. Graf leads two games to love. Poe struggling at 55% uh, of first serves in and not hitting them, of course, with anywhere near the power of Steffi Graf. Now, here's a replay of uh, that changeover. There's the ice pack. That was uh, what was happening in that previous changeover. But usually when someone has a strain, an, an abdominal strain, then it's usually on the left-hand side. Coming to the chair, I think she's going to quit this match. Can't continue. I think that's the Ladies story. Ladies and Poe retires due to injury. Yep, Game yep. Match yes, well, I know we didn't pick it until that previous changeover, but it was not something that was, uh, it was terribly obvious. I mean, you... You see players when they sit down on a change of ends and you obviously notice if they're stretching a leg muscle or, or wincing or grabbing at a shoulder. But uh, I won't say surreptitious is not the right word, but when Kimberly sat down, uh, she just very quietly and without any fuss and almost unnoticed, and had obviously been doing it on the changes of end for, uh, for a little while, placing the ice bag. Now here it is in replay again, just sitting and placing the ice bag on her stomach and as I said would seem that she's suffering some abdominal strain and uh, was being outgunned because she was not able to serve anywhere near she possibly could and has had to forfeit uh, the match. Steffi Graf as always popular with the fans and signing autographs She'll be doing a lot of that between now and uh, the end of the fortnight here at the Australian Open Championship. Can't sign them all. Of course, she'd be there all day, for heaven's sake. But she does do her best, and the fans appreciate it. And anybody that missed out today, photograph or autograph, you can bet your life will be back there next time she plays. Uh, impressive, Wendy. Uh, putting aside uh, whatever was ailing Kimberly Poe, Steffi Graf is just out and out impressive. It was going to be a, an awful uh, match for... Kimberly Poe against Steffi Graf, but Steffi, I thought, served extremely well serving. Most of the serves just over 160 kilometres an hour, so very confident there. Her forehand, of course, as we know, is a huge weapon. And then what impressed me was that she also came to the net when she had the opportunity. So we know that she's working on that part of her game, and she looked a lot more comfortable up at the net when she was there. Oh, the big crowd that uh, packed into the centre court arena for this match. Uh, a little bit uh, stunned by the sudden conclusion to the match, but happy to see the top seed through to the second round.